Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a nude matte makeup tutorial. Um, it's, I mean, it's matte for the most part. Yeah, this is something that I've, that I typically do a lot and using nudes and neutrals, but I know this is usually what people like to see the most. So, um, without further ado, if you're interested in how to get this look, then just be sure to keep watching. Hopefully that's focused. Okay, so I'm going to start off with Max Painterly Paint Pot. I'm just going to apply it with this little synthetic fluffy brush all the way up to the brow bone. I'm going to tuck my hair so that you can see what I'm doing. Super sorry for all the booming. I have like construction right in my backyard. Perfect. No, yeah, it, it's it been, we moved, when we moved in here, they were like, we're like, what's going to go on back there? They're like, nothing, it's super quiet. About a week after moving in, construction started, so. Now, really quickly to set that, I'm going to take Beaches and Cream, and I'm just going to kind of fluff that all over my lid. This is Beaches and Cream from Makeup Geek, by the way. And I'm going to start off with creme brulee, and I'm going to take a larger fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M441. And I'm just going to work a little bit of eyeshadow at a time. So I just have a little bit on there. And I'm just going to lightly blend that into the crease. And I'm going to only keep it in the crease. And then with whatever is left on the brush, which is like nothing, I'm going to sweep it all the way into the inner corner, sweep it all the way into the outer. And I'm just going to take a slightly more precise brush. This is a little bit more tapered, so it's got a little bit more of a point to it, just to get deeper into the crease ever so slightly. And I'm going to take Chickadee. This is not really darker, it's just like a warm, a warmer yellow. And I'm just going to load this onto my brush. Tap off the excess and then lightly sweep that basically into the same place, just a little deeper. And if you get it a little bit low onto your lid, don't worry, we're going to clean that up. This just helps with the blending and it warms everything up. Now we are going even more precise. This is a Morphe M433. Anyway, I'm going to take Cocoa Bear. This is very dark and I'm going to take it on this really precise brush be very careful with this color and I'm going to put it directly into the crease I'm going to bring it ever so slightly into my inner corner bring it down a little bit into the outer corner okay so to clean everything up I'm going to go back in with Max Paint really paint pot but I'm going to use a smaller synthetic brush let me find one here and I'm going to just clean this up. I don't want it to be a cut crease, but I do, I really want the lid space to be open. Okay, and then using that same brush, I'm just going to wipe off some of the creaminess. I'm going to go back into creme brulee and pat that right directly on top of where I put the paint pot. On my lid, I put beaches and cream, not creme brulee. Okay, so I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a tiny bit of mascara. Okay, I'm going to apply some false lashes. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies. I'm going to tight line my eyes using the NYX Gel Pencil Liner. This is the NYX Très Joli. And the color is pitch black. Uh, I'm going to try to stay in frame. Um, I'm not going to do my lower lash line with this yet, not until I, like, do my lower lash line. Okay, so I feel like um, I need a little bit of, like, not warmth, I need a little bit of a darker shade, and I'm going to take the middle uh, contour shade, the uh, skinnier, not that one, my skinnier brush, and I'm just going to apply this directly in the crease. Okay, let me zoom out just a touch. 
let's go ahead and do my face. I am going to prime my face, maybe, using the Bare Minerals Primetime BB Primer. This is supposed to cancel out redness and stuff. You tell me. I mean, maybe a little bit. Okay, for my foundation, of course, I'm sorry, I'm not switching it up today. I'm using the Bourjois Healthy Mix. I'm going to mix 51 and 54. I'm going to use more of 51, less of 54 because it's very dark. Yeah. Okay, so to blend that, I'm going to use my Beauty Blender and just apply that. Just to add a little bit more coverage, I'm going to mix up a little bit more here. Okay, so there is about two layers. It didn't come cover everything completely, so I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer just over the spots that I need it. Okay, so I'm going to contour and bronze and blush and highlight. Um, I'm going to use my Anastasia, which is filthy, uh, cream contour kit. And I'm going to use, I'm gonna be using a lot of products right now. I'm sorry, it's really annoying, but that's what's happening. So, so I'm using my Anastasia cream contour kit for contouring. I'm using the Sonia Kashuk um, um, cream bronzer in warm tan to bronze my face. And then, I'm using the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Blush. It's a cream blush in the color uh, 215. And that's what that looks like. So, let's go ahead and apply that. Oh, and then for, uh, to highlight under my eyes, I'm going to use just a concealer. This is the uh, Maybelline Master Conceal in Fair. I'm going to take a little stippling brush and the warm tan cream bronzer and I'm putting this like basically right over the top. You don't need too much of this. You can look muddy super fast. So I'm just going to take um, my beauty blender. I'm going to take the clean side, just kind of swirl it into the blush and then apply right onto the apples of my cheeks. And there's that. So I'm going to just take this Master Conceal and put it under my eyes. You want to make sure to get this darkness right here. It's really easy to forget about that. Okay, great. It's not too light. So I'm going to make sure to dab out the creases. And then I'm going to set them using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm actually just going to use the same powder because it's translucent. Uh, so, yeah. Using the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. Oh, beautiful. I am going to take Forever Young, I think this is my favorite shade, and just highlight my cheekbones. I'm going to take a little tiny highlighter brush and take a kitty cat just to highlight my brow bone. So let's finish up the eyes and then we'll do the lips. So for the eyes, I'm going to take my Très Joli. And then I'm going to really smoke out my lower lash line using a little pencil brush and also like this little smudger brush. These are both from Morphe. First take Chickadee. And then using the same brush, I'm going to go in with creme brulee. And then 
then using the pencil brush, I will go in with Coco Bear. Of course, I'm going to add some mascara. Uh, how about Forever Lit on the inner corner? Ooh, that is too frosty. Woo! I'm going to put Glow Getter on top of that. Okay, so I'm going to wear a nude because, of course, this look is a nude matte. This is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo, something like that. I'm going to line the outer part of my lips using ColourPop's um, Lip Pencil in Brink. I feel like they change their lipsticks all the time uh, and lip liners and stuff, so I don't even know if this is even available. So this is the completed look. I really hope you guys like it. I've done this probably 14 trillion times here on my channel or at least something very similar, but this is just what I like. I like nudes and browns and neutral colors, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. And I guess that's it. So until next time, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.